Bonjour, my friends. I'm Frankie, and welcome to Club Foodie. Halloween is a fun night for kids and adults. This is an event where everyone enjoys sweets. In today's episode, I'll show you how to make my red velvet cake. With a nice thicken and frosting, this classic dessert is so moist, plus very easy to make. It's the perfect cake to decorate for the occasion. So let's get started. In a large mixing bowl, we'll add flour. And yes, this is the rare occasion that I sift, because I hate doing that. But sometimes we have no choice to sift. And we'll do the same with the cocoa powder, baking soda, and ground sea salt. As much as I don't like it, sifting will result in a much fluffier cake. When this step is done, we'll give a quick whisk to mix the ingredients and set aside for now. Next, we'll prep our wet ingredients. In a measuring cup, we'll combine buttermilk with white vinegar and gel coloring. Then we'll stir until nicely blended. If you want to use natural liquid food coloring, click on the top right corner of your screen to get the recipe. We'll set aside as well. All right, now in a bowl of a stand mixer, we'll add butter and sugar. Then using the paddle attachment, we'll process on medium speed and cream these two together until light and fluffy. About three minutes, scraping the sides and also the bottom of the bowl. We'll add the eggs, one at a time, mixing well between each addition. To this, we'll add the vanilla extract and process for only 30 seconds. Once again, let's not forget to clean the sides and the bottom of the bowl. While the machine is running, we'll gradually pour in the grapeseed oil and process until nicely blended. Next, we'll add half of the dry ingredients and half of the wet ingredients and then process on low speed until just combined before adding the remaining half of the dry and half of the wet ingredients. Once again, we'll process until the batter is smooth and just combined. We don't want to overdo it. I know I repeat myself, but let's not forget to clean the sides and the bottom of the bowl. We'll divide the batter evenly between two cake pans that are well greased and floured. We'll gently tap the pans on a counter to dislodge any trapped air bubbles and transfer them to a 350 degree preheated oven. We'll bake for 30 to 35 minutes or until a cake tester inserted in the center comes out clean, rotating the cake pans halfway through cooking. When time is up, we'll remove the cakes from the heat and run a knife around the edges to loosen the sides. If the cake pans are well greased and floured, most of the time we don't have to do that. We'll let them sit in the pans for 15 minutes before inverting them onto a wire rack to cool completely. Now, as they are very moist, we might want to chill them in the fridge for five hours or overnight. When we're ready to frost the cakes, we'll use a stand mixer and add cream cheese and one cup of butter. Using the paddle attachment, we'll process on low speed at first until mixed then increase to high and process until the mixture is fluffy, about five minutes. Just like when we were making the batter, don't forget to scrape the sides and the bottom of the bowl. To this, we'll add pure vanilla extract and a couple pinches of fine salt. I use Fleur de Sel, and here's my favorite brand, which can be found at any specialty store or online. We'll process again for about 30 seconds. We'll now gradually add our sifted, mm-hmm, our sifted confectioner's sugar, reduce the speed to low, 
and mix until nicely blended before adding more. When the sugar is all in, we can increase the speed to high and process for two minutes or until fluffy. Now, let's assemble this yummy cake. Both my cakes are pretty level, but if yours are not, use a serrated knife to make them flat. And don't throw the remains, because you can reuse it to decorate the cake. When I filmed this video, I didn't have my cake turntable yet. And this is how I created a way of doing it by using my cake pan and the bottom of a springform pan. So, we'll place a cake on our beautiful fancy stand, spoon some cream cheese frosting over, and don't be shy, and then spread it out evenly. We'll place a second cake on top, press gently so it sits straight, repeat with the frosting by spreading it out on top and making sure to cover the sides. To smooth out the surface, we can use an angle spatula or a bench scraper. If you have some crumbs from straightening up the cakes earlier, you can use some to decorate the cake, but that's optional. We'll transfer the cake to the fridge for one hour before slicing. And my friends, this is our red velvet cake. Tasty, colorful, and fluffy. This moist cake is a classic you simply have to try. With a nice cream cheese frosting, this is a delicious blank canvas to be creative with decorating, depending on the occasion. I hope you give it a try soon and be sure to visit clubfoodie.com for ingredient amounts, directions, and more info. Until next time, my friends, bon appétit. Thank you.